Welcome to Q Cars Channel. The newest Hyundai model, the 2024 Santa Fe Hybrid, has a striking design that demands second glances. The midsize crossover's previous rounded silhouette has been swapped out for a more squared off, boxy design that pays homage to traditional SUVs while also looking forward to the future with its sleek headlights and taillights. Hyundai claims that the increased cargo space provided by the new model's longer wheelbase and squared off rear end. The rearward slope of the roof is minimal, and the back door appears to be nearly perpendicular to the ground. Body color trim around the rearmost window glass and H-shaped LED accents in the headlights and taillights are design cues evocative of the Land Rover Defender. The new rugged, off-road aesthetic is highlighted by the addition of a massive roof rack and thick trim around the wheel arches. There is a good chance that prices will increase from the current model's $30,085 starting price, with higher trim levels likely costing closer to $50,000. We should expect to learn a lot more about the Santa Fe next month when Hyundai formally debuts this new SUV, and it will likely go on sale in the United States later this year. The inside of the Santa Fe Hybrid is obviously influenced by Range Rover, with its high-end design and integrated cutting-edge technology. There are three rows of seating in the Santa Fe Hybrid, with optional captain's chairs for the second row and power reclining for all seats in the third row. The Santa Fe Hybrid's interior is outfitted with eco-friendly materials from floor to ceiling, including precisely treated leather upholstery made from sustainable materials. The Santa Fe Hybrid's digital gauge cluster measures in at 12.3 inches, and it sits on the same curved panel as the infotainment system's touchscreen display. The temperature settings are accessible via a second, 6.6-inch touchscreen. Hyundai has included a UVC sterilizing tray to help destroy germs on passengers' phones, wallets, and other small objects in addition to the two wireless smartphone charging pads and several USB-C connections located throughout the cabin. A turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder works in tandem with an electric motor to propel all Santa Fe hybrids. While Hyundai hasn't officially announced the system's total horsepower, we expect it to be at least as powerful as the 226-horsepower unit found in the previous generation's model. In 2021, when we tested that version, it took an acceptable 7.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Even while the regular Santa Fe may be had with either front or all-wheel drive, the hybrid version will almost certainly come standard with all-wheel drive. We'll get some seat time in the updated version as soon as we can and report back with our thoughts and findings here. Thanks for watching.